Hi, and welcome to our channel. So right now we'll talk about Theta Fuel. And if you want to know more about Theta Fuel, you have discovered the right video. It is the second token in the Theta protocol that works in conjunction with the existing Theta token today. It provides inter-channel transactions such as payments to relays for sharing a video stream or for deploying or interacting with smart contracts. In this video, we will look at the main features of the Theta Fuel T-Fuel token, where you can buy and store tokens. And we will leave you a link to buy this currency below this video. Stay tuned so that you don't miss the most important things we are studying. The Theta token uses blockchain to stream video aiming to decentralize video streaming and video on demand. Their vision is to provide high-quality video streams without the buffering problems often seen today. In addition, they plan to leverage bandwidth and user storage to lower the cost of streaming video as well as improve quality. The Theta token team posed a solution to the last mile problem using decentralized blockchain technology. This led to the creation of the world's very first decentralized streaming network Moreover, in September 2020, Theta Labs received the first ever patent for decentralized streaming, covering methods and systems for decentralized network streaming and data delivery. At its core, Theta allows users to share their bandwidth and computing resources to mine Theta tokens and, in turn, cache and retransmit video streams to other users on the network. The Theta blockchain network is protected by the proof of stake consensus mechanism, which requires much less computation and has higher transaction throughput than proof-of-work protocols. Using POS as a consensus mechanism, many different devices can be used, acting as browsers and caching nodes. Theta Token has developed a resource-based micropayment pool to address scalability issues. In addition, they are implementing so-called proof-of-engagement to track the delivery of video clips. The distribution and collection of rewards on the platform are handled by streaming smart contracts, which are a specific type of smart contracts in the Theta token blockchain. The resource-based micropayment pool was created by Theta Token specifically to create off-network payment pools that users can withdraw off-network. They were designed to be resistant to double spending as well as more flexible than other off-network solutions. If double spending is attempted, it is detected by validators on Theta Network. One option for using a resource-centric micropayment pool is to allow payments to multiple caching nodes without the use of in-chain transactions. The main advantage of using this solution is that it provides greater scalability by eliminating many microtransactions from the blockchain. Proof of participation is a protocol that proves that viewers watch the video in real time. It is a means of providing transparency for advertisers as well as a means for users to earn Theta tokens in exchange for their participation. The proof of engagement protocol is needed for a reliable measure of video stream engagement and a reliable way for viewers and advertisers to measure video stream engagement. Smart streaming contracts are a type of smart contract or incentive contract used to facilitate the distribution and collection of rewards. There are several uses for smart streaming contracts, including advertises rewards streamers and viewers. Viewers present rewards to streamers, gift contracts for multiple streamers, premium or paid video content, subscription to streamer content or decentralized content networks. Cashers can share rewards with viewers and content streamers. Smart streamers Streaming contracts were designed to be executed by validators, which mean that the original individual or entity funding the contract does not have to participate in distribution or validation. Theta tokens were launched in December 2017 and were issued as ERC20 tokens. After the blockchain launch, these ERC20 tokens were exchanged for their tokens at a one-to-one -one ratio. These tokens were also an early part of the Sliver TV platform and are used to reward viewers, streamers, and those who share their resources with Theta Network. The main network didn't launch until the 12th of March 2019, which was a few months too late. 
but the launch was successful and trouble-free. In addition to the ERC20 Theta token exchange, users also received a free Theta Fuel token giveaway. After this initial launch, the main network version 2.0 was launched in May 2020. At that time, Theta introduced Guardian Nodes, a revolutionary two-tier consensus mechanism, in addition to corporate validators managed by top global partners including Google, Samsung, Binance, Blockchain.com and Gumi. Theta Fuel was created to be similar to the gas used in the Ethereum network. With the launch of the network, Theta Fuel tokens are used as reward tokens in the Theta network. One of the most important aspects of the the launch of the Theta Core Network was the introduction of Theta Fuel, the Theta Network Gas or Payment Token. T-Fuel supports intra-chain transactions such as payments to repeaters for video stream sharing or smart contract deployment or interaction with them. Repeaters earn T-Fuel for every video stream they transmit to other users of the network. You can think of Theta Fuel as a gas of the protocol. Combined with Theta, the token for betting and protocol management, these two tokens make up the economic system of Theta Network. Some stakeholders and nodes help support the Theta token ecosystem. The network was created with five major stakeholder groups. Streamers, influencers, are content producers on the network who produce live content and videos for later use. They are rewarded with Theta tokens for their contributions. Viewers are users who come to Theta TV to watch video content. They provide viewer engagement, which is perhaps the most important part of the entire streaming video network. Viewers are rewarded for watching and interacting with videos and may also be rewarded for viewing ads. Advertisers. They use the platform to promote services and products to viewers. They spend Theta tokens to buy ad time on the network and to sponsor influencers. Catching nodes are computers and servers that provide catching services to the network to improve the quality and deliver of the video stream. They are also rewarded with Theta tokens. Receiving nodes are nodes that help in providing different bit rates, stream resolutions and so on. They provide their services to catching nodes for live streams and are rewarded worded for doing so. Most recently, Theta unveiled its new Guardian Nodes, launching version 2.0 of the core network in May 2020. Guardian Nodes are designed to finalize blocks in the Theta Multi-BFT consensus protocol. These Guardian Nodes are designed to manage members of the Theta community and are rewarded by T-Fuel. Those who wish to run a Guardian Node must have a computer or server with the minimal specifications and must supply 1,000 Theta tokens. Guardian Nodes earn a share of all new Theta fuel generated on the Theta blockchain, which is 250 million per year. The share of T-Fuel you earn as a GN depends on how many Thetas you put in relative to the total number of Thetas. To bring this to life, the Theta team released a better version of Theta Edgecast in November 2020. It's the first fully decentralized video streaming app built entirely on Theta's blockchain, including smart contracts. Theta Edge Cast can capture video, transcode it in real time, cache it, and stream it to users around the world. It is a fully decentralized solution with no central servers or services. All of this is achieved with more than 2,000 Theta Edge nodes operating around the world. Edgecast is the part of the Edge Node application, and users can now stream to Edgecast or view other users' Edgecast streams and earn T Fuel with Edge Catching and Edge Compute. Edge Node now converts all aspects of decentralized video streaming, distribution, and computation in one optimized application. The Theta team sees Edgecast as a preview of the future, with Tatha.tv moving from its current status as a hybrid platform to fully decentralized platform. In the long term, they see decentralization as a key feature of all media and entertainment. They position Theta as a part of that future, and updates such as Edgecast bringing the project closer to that future. With Theta as the infrastructure users of 5G, smart TVs, mobile devices, and future connected devices will have the means to effectively deliver video and data without the need for centralized ecosystem management. With Theta, every user and device on the network will be able to benefit from the storage, transmission and delivery of video and other data streams. 
In December 2020, Theta added support for full Turing-based smart contracts, opening up a whole new realm of potential uses and DApp feature sets. For example, support for smart contracts allowed Theta to launch ThetaSwap version 1, the very first decentralized exchange for Theta's network. Future updates may include fully digitized item ownership, innovative payments and consumption models, transparent royalty distribution, robust crowdfunding mechanisms, and more. Building on these improvements, Theta is now working on the release of Theta Mainnet 3.0 with two major protocol innovations. The first protocol is the addition of Allied Edge nodes. These are the Edge nodes to which TFUEL is bound, making them Allied Edge nodes. This will enable uptime mining and allow Allied Edge nodes to earn TFUEL through the TFUEL rate and earn additional TFUEL, providing better performance for video platforms. The overall goal of Theta's crypto economy concept is to properly incentivize and reward all participants in the Theta's ecosystem and thereby ensure that security and its utility of Theta's network. This includes a new 2-4% T-Fuel inflation mechanism via uptime mining. Generally, Allied Edge nodes will be rewarded based on the number of T-Fuels supplied and the total uptime of the node. In addition, there will be lower and an upper limit to the number of T-Fuel that can be supplied to an Allied node. The lower limit is necessary to prevent cyber attacks. The upper limit is designed to provide the most optimal level of decentralization. If users want to put more T-Fuel that the upper limit, they can run multiple boundary nodes and divide their T-Fuel among those nodes. Running Theta Mainnet 3.0 will burn a minimum of 25% of each T-Fuel payment into the network, effectively turning into cost of network usage. The Theta team believes that in the long run, as Theta's peripheral network becomes more widespread, this could significantly reduce T-Fuel supply. With the addition of full by Turing smart contracts to Theta's network, many potential new uses have been added to Theta, and one of them was realized with the launch of Theta Swap DEX, the first decentralized exchange on Theta's blockchain. It is based on automated market maker logic similar to Uniswap. It allows users to exchange their newly created TNT20 tokens built on the Theta blockchain without trust or storage. Just hours after DAX was released on the 4th of February 2021, there were already several Theta streamers and community leaders creating their TNT20 tokens. This activity is only expected to grow as the community and ecosystem grow. Creating a decentralized exchange was deemed essential for Theta given that new tokens are created on the blockchain. Theta DAX gives users a fast way to trade new tokens and gives markets an efficient way to price tokens. Now that Theta Swap has been created, TNT20 tokens can be fully functional. Streamers will now be able to issue loyalty tokens that will have real value to their fans, while pools or DAOs can more easily fund media projects. Now that Theta Swap is active, there are many interesting ways to monetize content on Theta. Version 1 of the Theta Swap allows you to trade T-Fuel and TNT20 tokens, but future versions will add functionality to trade Theta via TNT20 shell version of the Theta token. Several stablecoins issuers have also expressed interest in moving their assets to Theta blockchain in the form of TNT20, making it easier to trade on Theta Swap. Further updates are planned for ThetaSwap during 2021. The two largest exchange services for Theta are provided by Binance Exchange and BKX. Huobi Global, Upbeat and Digifinex also have decent volumes exchanged. Several other exchanges sell Theta, but with smaller volumes. Most of the T-Fuel trading is on Binance, although there are decent amounts exchanged on Upbeat. There are only a few other exchanges with T-Fuel listings and the volumes exchanged are insignificant. Theta's wallet was released just days before the main network launched. On March 9, 2019, Theta announced its web wallet, which can be used for both Theta tokens and T-Fuel. Those who prefer more security in their cryptocurrency storage can choose Trezor or Ledger hardware wallets. Several third-party 
wallets support Theta and T-Fuel, storage including Trust Wallet and Atomic Wallet. Theta Labs has also released mobile version of Theta Wallet for Android and iOS. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos.